اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. I have concluded, as has, as has Zechariah Sitchin, that the human race has probably been seated here by high intelligence civilizations from other places. Zachariah Sitchin is a member of what? The Illuminati? Absolutely. Zachariah Sitchin is a member of the New World Order used to spread deliberate disinformation. Zachariah Sitchin met with Corrado Balducci. Who is Corrado Balducci? Corrado Balducci is not only the official spokesman for the UFO in the Vatican. You understand? This is, this is just the front. Who right. is he? He's okay. a demonologist, okay. the biggest exorcist in the Vatican. Right. That should already make you think, okay, there is a connection here between the alien myth and the demonology. Mm -hmm. Is it really true, now tell me the truth, that you personally have met Jesus and Muhammad and Buddha? Yes, this is the important part. These people, but you've seen them with your of own course, eyes? and I was speaking to them like I speak to you now. And they invited me to their planet in 1975, and the, the, the prophet was still alive. Uh, Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad uh, were, were there, and it was just a party. 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 It's necessary to understand these people came on the earth a, a very long time ago. They built big laboratories and in these laboratories, thanks to DNA and genetic combination, they created our life on earth. I, in the beginning, the original Bible, you can find one very easily. It's not written the first day God did that, but the first day Elohim did that. The second day Elohim did that. And in Hebrew, Elohim means those who came from the sky. Book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 it says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth the word God in Hebrew there is Elohim in Hebrew El, El stands for God Ella stands for God Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence plural of respect in all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew, there are two types of plurals. In my own mother tongue, we have plural of respect as well as of numbers. In Urdu, plural of respect as well as numbers. You see, in the Quran also we find the very same thing. 
like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim. Who is this us? Is Allah, Jibreel and Muhammad like Father, Son and Holy Ghost? No. No. But is us, who is us? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul huwallahu ahad, say he is Allah the one and only. Here he's talking about us. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, I said the Arab Christian, has ever asked the Muslim, who is this us? Because he knows in his language there are two types of plurals. Plural of numbers and plural of respect. This as is like in royal proclamations you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. They created our life on earth. It means trees, animals, and men in their image. The messages explain our origin, how we were created scientifically in laboratories, how the prophets, so-called prophets, were just messengers like Moses, talking at the top of the Mount Sinai with uh, uh, Elohim, with one of the Elohim, and uh, that now it's time to understand, to stop believing and start to understand. Through science, we can become gods ourselves, and we can start to create life, and that. Uh, and that we can enter a new age, and that we can enter a new age. We are the universe. We don't have any more to be afraid to die, because we are eternal. We are eternity. There is no God. There are a lot of information in this message. For instance, they say it's time to create a world government. The scriptures warn our generation, these mighty men and men of old, will just as in the day of Noah, re-infiltrate the human race. These demonic beings will convince those who are spiritually blinded to the truth that they were our creators. That they were our creators. وَجَعَلُوا لِلَّهِ شُرَكَاءَ الْجِنَّ وَخَلَقَهُمْ وَخَرَقُوا لَهُ بَنِينَ وَبَنَاتٍ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى عَمَّا يَصِفُونَ لَوْ كَانَ فِيهِمَا آلِهَةٌ إِلَّا اللَّهُ لَفَسَدَتَا In view of the state of knowledge in Prophet Muhammad's day, it is inconceivable that many of the statements in the Quran which are connected with signs 
who have been the work of a man.